Hello and welcome to this video on tissues, organs and organ systems. First of all I want to talk about the idea about how a cell gets to be a specific cell with a specific function and when cells first divide um, they essentially can be anything, they're undifferentiated but during the development process there is a point at which they are switched on and they are destined to be a specific cell, for example a nerve cell or a muscle cell um, and we call this process differentiation so at an early point during development um, they differentiate so they can perform a particular function and we've got loads of different types of cells in our body we've looked at cells in a previous video we're going to go on to something a little bit bigger looking at tissues in this video what tissues are is they are a group of cells with similar structure and function. So for example it could be a group of muscle cells working together or a group of nerve cells working together. There's several cells working together um, that have a similar structure and function. We can call them a tissue. Now there's three tissues that you need to know about for your exam. The first one is something called glandular tissue and the name gives you a clue to what it um, is used for. This gland word here, um, glandular tissue, produces enzymes and hormones. So there's quite a few glands in our body, like the pituitary gland, which will have glandular tissue in it, but it will also be present in other organs as well, producing those enzymes and hormones. Second one we need to know about is epithelial tissue. Um, probably a new word to most people, these tissues um, cover and line different parts of the body so different organs for example will be lined with epithelial tissue. And finally muscular tissue, um, muscular tissue, a group of muscle cells working together allows for movement so those contracting cells together allow for movement. If you try and remember perhaps G, E, M, GEM, that will perhaps help you to remember those three that you need to remember a little bit more. So GEM, three tissues there that you need to know about for your exam. So how do we then get from tissues to organs? Well, an organ is made up of groups of tissues. So we jump up in size here as we go from a tissue to an organ and like tissues are a group of cells working together organs are groups of different tissues working together so one that's emphasized in your specification is the stomach because the stomach contains all of these three tissues that you need to know about so the stomach will contain pro uh, produce digestive juices and this is um, as a result of the glandular tissue which is in the stomach to produce these juices. It will also have tissues covering the inside and outside of the stomach and that is the epithelial tissue. And finally, really importantly for the stomach, it needs to be able to churn the food and to be able to churn food you need movement and you need muscular tissue. So in the organ, these three tissues work together um, in the stomach to allow the stomach to, to function and to do a particular job. Finally then, we move from organs to organ systems and when we do that, we increase in size again. So moving from organs to organ system, an organ system is a group of organs working together. For example, the digestive system, where you've got all of these organs working together. Now there are other um, organ systems like the nervous system, the circulatory system and the skeletal system for example um, but the one that's specified in your specification is the digestive system so I'd really get to know that and we're going to cover the digestive system in another video. If this video was useful to you then please press the like button below and subscribe to be able to watch all of the videos.